Okay, let's hope this is working. Welcome back to another game between Eddie and Slam. We are on game 14, I think. I hope I picked the right one because I'm on a new laptop. I installed uh, the o AOC edition of OBS. It took me quite some time to get here. Now I hope it's working. Maybe my bitrate is a little bit too high and maybe I should downscale to uh, 720p. But for now I'm trying it like this. Let's see how much, uh, how big the game file will actually be. The recorded file, um, the video file, and then see what the game is bringing us. I hope this is working. <laughs> I can't promise anything. Let's see. And gonna start with the maps here Slam, Hunts, Main Gold, Forward. The Barry's Forward doesn't really matter. Four deer outside, the third gold outside uh, to the corner, quite far away here, one really close to the space. The second gold outside, the main stone, forwardish as well. Only the second stone safe in the back, but not so important for Hunts. And an extra gold here. Oh, all in all, not the best map here for Slam, I think. Let's see how he's going to do, what, he, what he's actually going to play here, maybe go aggressive. We have more relics on the map too, on the right hand side here. This one closer to Eddie, and the left one, uh, one left hand side here, also closer to Eddie. Four deer outside, Eddie also already deleting the wall. And let's start to lure the deer in. Second gold outside here, close to the to his gate. Third gold outside, the second stone forward outside. The main gold forward, the main stone safe in the back. And an extra gold safe in the back, actually. An extra gold here. Uh, extra berries for, for Eddie. Could take them later on. Get a TC here if he gets a TC. But let's see how he's going to do. So all in all, actually pretty fair map in my opinion. Looks interesting. And let's see what the players are actually going to do. I guess I can speed up. Not sure how... <laughs> The speed is going to work later on because uh, on my old laptop once I downscaled to 720, could speed up like whatever I wanted. When I went for um, at, at 1080, then the game went slower and slower the longer it uh, uh, took, and that was a little bit annoying to me. But for now, that's okay. For me, that's a little bit too loud actually. It's not enough. I uh, hope it's okay on the recording. I don't know how this is going to sound, I need to check the fire later on. Alright, continuing to push deer and slam, doing the same thing, but he's using a sheep and I really like this approach here. Uh, it's actually a little bit, uh, a big way here to go. Now keeping the sh uh, gate open, using the sheep, perfect. And can he push the deer? I think he should be able to do it. Now the deer is running and Eddie on the way to the village actually slam four farms up. And going three villages on gold, we may see a more aggressive uh, approach here. But the same goes for Eddie pretty much. Let's see, two villages on gold, two farms, but he should be able to get a lot of deer towards the mill actually. Makes sense, he's got eight villages here, that's five plus three or four plus four. Uh, right now four plus four. And trying to lure the last deer in as well, he should be able to do it. And at the same time he will get market blacksmith apparently, so you're not gonna see cav archers or most likely you're not going to see them. Um, don't know if Eddie's actually trying to go mocks and siege maybe, or at the barracks later on. Market blacksmith coming up as expected. And we see a barracks with slam, which is really nice. We're gonna see stable for him, stable blacksmith coming up. Maybe a few scouts, maybe knights to take down Mangonauts. Um, um, that would be a nice idea. Also, a very beautiful lumber camp here for Slam. I like this one. He only needs one and can get like eight villages on that one at least. Uh, a little bit lucky here, but he found it. Uh, makes sense to go there. Now, Market Blacksmith up. Uh, no, sorry, the stable and Blacksmith up. And both players on the way to Castle Age. Slam one villager more, therefore a little bit behind, but not really a lot. Uh, looks good. Both players with a decent uptime. I think, and now Eddie uh, finishing half a palisade point to make sure he's not open and sending more villagers to foot apparently. He's got like a dozen, 13, 14 villagers on at this point. Six farms up. We do see horse play coming from Eddie. He's got now three villagers on gold as well. And uh, he's probably going for a forward I'm village here, door. maybe monastery coming forward, maybe siege workshop. Let's see for Sly what he's planning to do. I'm assuming he's got least one more scout out. Uh, two more three units, yes, that's uh, the initial scout, I guess, and there's the second. Uh, scouts not fighting yet because they didn't see each other yet, but could happen soon. Now it is the first one who's gonna go up to Castle Age, and do we have a full religion? No, I don't see any. We do see one three coming up but inside, and one TC being added by Eddie on the berries. Really nice. Uh, he's using whatever he can get. Makes sense. This one just stuck. Not too good. Uh, now Xing because Eddie can see, ah, I'm hunted down by two scouts, I need to go home, more or less. 
and uh, try to get rid of those. Let's see, AD is going to take the first few hits here, the few, uh, first few hit points on the scout. One more, not way too long, so we actually four villages on gold, and it's going to be more still. Only one extra TC, trying to lure the scouts inside. It's not happening, could uh, convert them on, convert them later on, but this is not happening. Slam is paying attention, sending a knight and a uh, spearman here as well to make sure that he can get all the relics. Eight at the same time, three TC, mini boom apparently. Very atypical for, in my opinion, but maybe he said to try something new. Two monks still to try and get this relic, and he should be able to do it. Unless. No, Slam is coming forward. And that means it is too late. He didn't dare to go out and want to lose the monks, but now he's not gonna get this relic. Unless he mm, can convert the Blitzer, then this might be interesting. Slam, of course, running away now, uh, cancelling the siege workshop, and now he should be able to get that relic in. At the same time, Slam adding 1 TC on the wood line. No 30 C yet. No, there it is. Just adding it. And actually, Eddie able to convert the villager. Uh, able to push the knight and the spear away. And now he can get the first relic, which is good for Eddie. He may be able to get that second one on the left hand side. And then he will be fine. But Eddie, of course, building a siege workshop now as well. He knows Slam is going to build a siege workshop in the middle of the map. So uh, Eddie needs to do something to be able to defend. And he's getting more monks actually. Three, four monks on the field. Same time, three TCs are and running and uh, therefore a little bit ahead in village and numbers now healing the scout maybe converting the spearman but not yet and i'm assuming steps else out here we go and trying to attack the monk trying to kill the monk not for now but the scouts are gonna be exactly bad easy and can you see conversions actually the relic manganel again trying to kill that monk successful because Eddie is now and walking to the wrong direction. Eddie not controlling this monk. Big mistake here. Losing quite some units at this point. Only one scout left. And the siege workshop works really not that good. Let's take it home. Put the dirks up. And Slam will go attack with this outside siege workshop. Slam is winning the map control. And usually that's a pretty good thing from there on you can win games. Now 3 TC is up and running as well, but still behind the village. Just of course, a lot of scouts and a knight, uh, as well as two siege units and a monk on the field. So Slab is doing pretty good here. Not to against four units. There is the There's the Manganel for Eddie. And we see a few good shots of those scouts, but maybe take down the ram very soon. Eddie, I think, only got one. One relic inside. Yes, they will take the other one on the left inside. You can see it. You can see it. Arch range coming up now. That's one, two, three arch ranges. Also stable to get bloodlines. And looks like Eddie wants to go for the cap arches now in casting. While Slam probably going to Imperial pretty soon. Hand carved Tumult Loom coming in. And uh, food count rising. Got a lot of gold in the bank already. Three relics in. And uh, that means Slam is looking a little bit better to me. It is saying, oh, what's 20? I don't know. That, um, I, looks like I didn't enable the, the taunts. So that's strange, I don't know why. But I just installed AOC, of course, on the, my new laptop here. So uh, makes sense that not everything is working right now. Quite some time to get OBS, the AOC version working here. And now Manganel going out for Eddie, also Monk. Can Eddie get the first uh, knife? No, not happening. Same time, more camera just plus two attack coming out. Eddie also going for ballistics and Slam clicked up to Imperial Age. So Slam, quite ahead in my opinion. Getting out of ranges, he's gonna go for camera archers as well. He may need a few more upgrades. But he is gonna have the cheaper cap archers, and that means he can out can get out more cap archers a lot faster. And now Eddie, of course, trying to take control over the map. Here, taking down a monk. Not a lot of damage from the TC, which is good. Slam of course going back here, waiting for Imperial Age most likely. Bloodlines and Bolton are coming in now. Eddie going with another siege workshop, that's number three in total. But this one forward, of course, and a Manganel is there already. This TC may fall pretty fast. Now Slam uh, realizing he need to defend the goal and going for a watchtower here. Eddie now looking good. He's gonna be able to click up to Imperial Age really soon. Momentum because he's 
got the attack on Slam. Now Slam going for the Mangalon, taking down Eddie. He didn't see that Eddie. And while this Mangalon may fall, the Roshan should go up now because Slam got enough footage here. And Slam doing ballistics as well. He should have the plus two by now. Uh, that's exactly what's uh, going on. And Slam is going to lose a lot more cav archers. Going to go path for tactics most likely. Pedrarcher and chemistry on the way. I don't think we're going to see heavy cav archers too fast. Uh, Eddie now. But entirely halfway on the way to Imperial Age, but uh, maybe halfway right now. And uh, now a lot of coverages from Eddie, but Slam not far behind. And of course, Slam is gonna have the upgrade event for a little bit of uh, half minutes, quite some time directly. Another TC can protect this gold, and Slam got more cab arches at this point. Eddie got more military units, but they're not all in one spot. Grab right here. Which doesn't really matter since much of since then. This is important actually. Half the tactics on the way, plus three of course for Bracer upgrade. But uh, Eddie got plus two defense. That's uh, pretty good actually. So equal upgrades I feel, half the tactics done. Now Slam get the advantage. Ram fight here again. I think Slam should go for uh, Captain really early on now. Should go that really soon and maybe even go siege rams. Uh, Eddie at the same time sending villagers forward. Slam, a lot of resources in the bank. I think he just clicked a uh, heavy counter. There we go. Eddie in the meantime getting kept from Bracer Chemistry Path Attack is expected. And we're gonna see a typical hunt for with Sea Trams, most likely coming in, Cat Trams for now. Cav Archers will maybe scouts, or that means Light Cap for Hustle or later on, depending on what you can afford. And there's the Cap from upgrade for Eddie coming in first, so Slam has to go back for now, waiting for his own upgrade to uh, come into well, to attack. And here we go, big fight happening. Uh, Eddie moving the units, and I think he's got the Cav Archers here, looking for Eddie. Heavy Cav Archer, oh, really important upgrade. And a few bombs. Eddie goes to Seatram though, and Seatram may change the game here. Eddie resources are still very low, but a lot of Cav Archers uh, still following here and fighting. And at the same time, Slam, only the Cap Rams, they're not as uh, strong. They're really, really bad when it uh, comes down to Ram fight, Seatram versus Cap Rams. And the heavy Cav Archer isn't really doing a lot of difference in that fight, but a lot of Rams for Eddie. Now there we go, there we go. Four Seatrams moving forward against four Cap Rams. Behind it, for slab. He covers any a lot more actually. Did a good job. Uh, to go into the cover. Yeah. Seems to work, but uh, slab got the score deep. So I'm not sure uh, how this game is going to end here. The Rams going on pretty fast actually. And now Eddie with this advantage. Not having the cover archer. Slab is also pretty good. And he's going to win from the soon too. Eddie, I think, losing a lot of coverage right now. Yeah, Slam needs to go back because there are sea trams in the back. Eddie, at the same time, resources are still low. Uh, he's got 122 villagers, but he still doesn't have the resources to complete the upgrades. And with a few numbers, not better for Slam as well. Eddie's doing here, maybe it's 23 idle uh, That This really makes not that such a big difference. And we have to check the quick. No, he didn't scout his extra gold. Um, in the meantime, sea trams going down. The camera just actually doing a decent job here. And while Eddie is still trying to keep this tackle and keep the map control, he is working a little bit. Now Slam got three traps, and this means the heavy cam archer will come to effect. And Eddie is going to trouble, I feel. He's trying to get more cam archers in. So Slam, Slam, resources. Really not a lot of difference here compared to Eddie's. Eddie still definitely needs the upgrade for the heavy cam archers. Maybe a little bit just. Really not that good. Good to see light cap hussars, but any call GG, he knows. Against that cap archers, I don't really have a chance. He could fight on, I think, but it's not looking too good for him. I don't know how much gold he had left. Uh, there was left for him to mine. Didn't look too good either. He didn't find this one. And slam at this point with the heavy cap archers fully upgraded. Or I think, no, not even. Oh, not fully upgraded. I think missing an upgrade. Is that possible? Uh, I think slam uh, still missed an upgrade. But heavy cap archers a little bit stronger here. Sea tram against sea tram neutralizing it, uh, some themselves. Oh my god, I can't speak right now. Hope you enjoyed this game. See you on the next one. GG.